A SpaceX rocket lifted off on a historic two-week mission to the International Space Station. The privately funded flight is carrying astronauts from India, Poland, and Hungary. It's commanded by veteran astronaut Peggy Whitson, who has spent more time in space than any other American. At an age most Americans consider retirement, 65-year-old Peggy Whitson is heading back to space for the fifth time. I'm heading back to the poet. Copy, Peggy. America's One most experienced astronaut has already logged a record 675 days in orbit, first with NASA and now with Axiom Space. I think I'm somewhat addicted to space. It's just exhilarating living in an environment so different than what we have here on Earth and having adapted to that environment. It is fun for me to share my experience with the, the rookie flyers that are going with me. Her crewmates, these three rookie flyers, are government-sponsored astronauts from India, Poland, and Hungary, three nations that last sent someone to space more than 40 years ago. They'll perform around 60 scientific studies aboard the ISS during their two-week stay, arranged by Axiom. It opens up access to countries that might not normally get access to space. Orbiting Earth for 26 years, the ISS is beginning to show its age. One top safety concern, a small but persistent air leak found in the Russian segment six years ago. Russia says recent repair work finally sealed that leak, but NASA wanted more time to study it and delayed the Axiom mission for two weeks. Tejpal Bhatia is Axiom's CEO. So if they tell us to wait, we wait. Clearly you, NASA and SpaceX, are 100% on board saying it's good to go. Yeah, Axiom Space, NASA and SpaceX are always aligned uh, when we're making decisions on human spaceflight and launch. Axiom is one of several companies looking to build a new commercial space station for when the ISS is decommissioned at the end of this decade. This mission that just launched is part of working towards that goal, and the crew is set to arrive at the ISS tomorrow morning.